Chicago. It's a pleasure to have Professor Fedor Bogumala from NYU, who is going to talk about the branch of calculations for IHS forms. Okay, so this is a formal title. Yeah? Uh, Lagrange of vibrations. So the manifolds I'm going to consider. So this is high analog. Analog of past resources. Uh, dimension. Now for non smooth, uh, which, uh, which is so this is form, no way to check. Okay, is 2n dimension or is x in power 2n? Sorry, what? 2n uh, is the dimension. I can hear. Uh, 2n is what I will okay, okay. If you want me to answer, I will read the last the time and he will. Okay. I don't hear anything beyond the first row, okay? Let's an assumption. Just listen. The problem is some days I, I cannot I don't know hear you. So. <laughs> Just remember. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at this kind of complex manifolds is non-degenerate, and then also maybe that's simply connected. Okay, so this kind of manifold. So I will. I have a lot of history with this manifold because. Uh, in 1973, I wrote a thesis, which exists in, Ru in Russian. You know, well, I kind of, where, where I mm, mm, uh, kind of gave mm, a proof of the following result. The result of the theorem of the decomposition theorem. decomposition theorem, which means that x if k of x is just zero, k of x, m compact tether, then m finite find non modified covering. By covering is just a product e to the n by what I call SEM and uh, B. We, uh, this varieties have this have only H zero forming of P K. Yes, H uh, zero. H zero of dk omega i is equal to one for i equal k and zero atoms and zero atoms and uh, this were I called at that time Hamiltonian Hamiltonian varieties which are exactly of that type and those. <laughs> Okay, at that time the Yao theorem didn't exist, so I gave kind of, so I pro produced the variation and then proved something like in the existence of invariant metric. I'm not 100% sure that, I, okay, that it was totally correct, but in a way there is another argument which I gave later, which is also proving that, purely algebraic, for projective case. Yeah. So later this was kind of, so I talked about it at many places, but I, I started working on something else, and therefore I never, I ne this result is never published, but it exists. Some people like Ludmilla and some others, who read Russian, got it, yeah. So it exists. In particular, I must say, 
that two things happened. That at that time I looked at, I suggested, I looked at exactly this kind of abelian vibration of a sunset. So I looked at this case, and so and this is an analog of what I'm going to speak today about. <coughs> Unfortunately, at that time, I already, uh, I made a Hodge-type calculation, which happens to be wrong. Hodge-type calculation was the following, that I, I looked at the, so, you know, the problem is, uh, which you can see immediately, that if you have such a form, uh, then if you vary this by some t omega 1, yeah, uh, then you obtain a quadratic. So, so assume that this kind of deformation is free. Yes. So then you obtain a kind of quadratic condition. And so you see that you. So if there are no obstruction, then you obtain a quadratic form which describes you all the powers of, of yes, zeros. So what is the only the only problem here that this power if this power into power n is zero. Yeah? This condition can be described in terms of quadratic form. And I thought that immediately if you have such variation, something here, so in dimension two you have just one square. Here you have to have all these elements kind of be trivial. And I wrote and I kind of already there in the thesis at this if you check the five this was chapter 5, I wrote that if the variations are unobstructed, then this would be a contradiction to existence. <coughs> and since I was kind of working alone on this, and during my, thought, oh, okay, they shouldn't exist also. So I made it as a conjecture. I, I bring it to him that such varieties in high dimension don't exist. Yeah, so in my article, yeah, well, okay. We never, the, you know, I was kind of young algebraic geometry because before I worked in topology and then cosmology. So 73 was the first year where I kind of got into real algebraic, into serious algebraic geometry. So I just, so that, that stayed for some time. And then in 78, I, I found a simple proof of the fact that it is not obstructed. And then I added the calculation of deformation, which I think is quite... So for me, the interesting point, though I was completely blinded by this kind of mind calculation, and uh, at, this, at that time, for me, it was interesting just to think that, you know, you look at deformation theory. Is and this then, one is called Tian Todorov theory? Sorry? Is this is called this Tian Todorov? Sorry? Is this what is called yeah, Tian Yeah, 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 it was, uh, how to say, I, this is on 78, it's in, it's, yeah, in 78, and then the preprint in 80, which are where I extended it for all trivial canonical classes. But in 78, so I proved that uh, by some kind of trick, uh, by covering some cycle, this, two, this union of two Stein domain, the Stein intersection, you can show that higher kind of uh, abstractions are trivial. They lie in H2, so nothing. And uh, on Kara case, it's the same as usual, cohomology, so nothing. Uh, is, so everything has to be trivial. By the All way, structure. this paper does exist as a Sorry? paper. This paper does exist from 78. This paper 78, yeah. And it's correct. And, and it's the second, the trivial canonical was the same thing, just for trivial canonical class. It's more or less the same idea. It's uh, 80. So in fact, I talked in Paris about all this result at Bouvier Seminar in, in the 80s and so on. And at, uh, also at Princeton in 81. So I tried to do my best, but uh, I was doing many other things. So I kind of shifted completely. Okay, so and so because of that, I thought that that shouldn't exist. Though I, I must say that already at the, I'll say, at Princeton in '81, when I was talking, someone, graduate student, told me that symmetric power of K3 should be should have a. So you take symmetric power of K3; it's singular, but if you disangularize, it should have a non. Uh, non-degenerate to zero form. But, you know, I was so much blinded by my kind of, <laughs> by this combination and I liked it so much that the deformation theory actually tells 
non-existence, that free deformation theory tells about non-existence, of it, I kind of didn't get it. And unfortunately, I don't remember, the, I, I remember it was a graduate student who was attending the conference which was run on uh, this topic, which was run by Beauville and um, I think the other people. Uh, yeah. So then in two years... No longer a graduate student. Sorry? Probably not, no longer a graduate student. No longer, yes, it was 81. Yeah. You know, it was 81. <laughs> so by, now, I don't <laughs> yeah, by now, I don't know. Randomly, I don't remember the name. It just flipped off yesterday. Too many new names. It was my first time in the United States, so I met hundreds of people. And it's pity, but you know, that's it. So in two years, uh, we will publish this paper, but in fact, things were kind of known already from uh, Kobayashi actually gave them. As soon as uh, uh, the, mm, the paper of, uh, how to say, no, at least the, uh, the, uh, how to say, the complete decomposition for tensor algebra, for any variety, so this was only about forms. But in fact, for any variety, with trivial canonical class, these are the only tensors which exist. These are and the powers. And this was proved by using already the existence of uh, Calabi-Yau metric, uh, already by Kabayashi in his report in the uh, Arbeit Stagg. So it was in 78 that was known. OK, that's the story. And since then, you know, after that, I kind of didn't work much on it. And last year, then, the, mm, uh, as it happened, the theory was developed uh, quite far. And in particular, there is a tempting uh, direction uh, to classify all such varieties. Using, uh, so you look at general variety, and you try to deform it smoothly into a family of abelian varieties over projective space. So the ideal situation currently is that in many cases you have the following. Yeah, this form got the name of me, Bovila and Fujiki, well, because I actually failed exactly that. That's the form I discovered and then I, I didn't <coughs> believe it. That it cannot be, can be satisfied. So that corresponds, yes. Okay. So then um, what happened um, is that certainly, so we have, um, if you take symmetric power of x2, <coughs> yes, which is, uh, uh, so x, x2 is Casper surface. Yeah, since then they were, they were renamed as Hill Hyper Curve, which is correct because the, uh, because the metric, the Calabillon metric, has very distinguished property. Yes, uh, not just uh, the fact that uh, its power is, so not just the fact that its power is just B, B2N, I think, is, yeah, I hope I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, correct. So dimension is four, yes. G is kind of four. So if x2 is a cash resource, <coughs> then you can take symmetric power, which is hugely singular. But fortunately, it's singular variety, but fortunately there is a standard. There is a, so this can be considered as cycles of uh, degree m, zero cycles of degree m. Yes, but then there is a standard resolution Standard resolution. Resolution. The four cycles of n. You can look at schemes of of the n, yeah, of length n. So this is like uh, schemes of of schemes of length n. And and this happens to be from S n x two. Sorry. S n of x two tilde. Ah, yes. Thank you. Uh, so, thank you, because I, I can say one thing and write another. Yeah. That's what happens. 
So it is a, there is a standard resolution which has omega to zero no way degenerate. Yes. And this is first series, so in this way we are getting infinite series. And then in the same way, in a similar way, we can get infinite series from A2. Uh, yes, so this is kind of, you have the same map to A2 and then kind of kernel. So for every point here, the preimage is the same. And this is uh, another series, another infinite series. And both of them happen to have a natural deformation, the Lagrangian fibration. And in fact, not one, many. Yes, sometimes. So recently then, I'll say, apart from these two infinite series, we actually have only two types, <coughs> which were developed here and here, here and already. Found six-dimensional and ten-dimensional varieties. Uh, this is hyperkeret, hyperkeret with the same properties, uh, which also happen to have deformation. I think uh, that was the last thing I heard from Karen. I think they both families have a deformation to what is called Lagrangian fibration, which means you have, so we have x to the power x 3 to n maps to p to the power n, generic fiber, generic fiber, is abelian, abelian, and uh, so first generic fiber is abelian, and then um, uh, omega two zero. So A is uh, the fibers. The fibers <coughs> are Lagrangian, Lagrangian <coughs> separators for. V to zero. That means V to zero on A of D of A to zero. Okay. So therefore, and you know, as soon as you have Lagrangian, and if the base is known, then you can say, okay, it should be find the dimension. So this should it should be not too many, because at that moment you can bound the Essentially, I, I don't know details because, you know, I was not in the area for quite a long time. So, it, and then I kind of got into it last year. So, I think uh, you can bound the degree of the generating device. And in fact, there are many other results that uh, you are getting kind of series. From the generating device, you can extract from the singularities of the generation, you can extract the smallest brain. And yeah, so, general idea is that if you look at, so this map is something like, mm, there are not smooth points, yes? The variety is smooth, but there is a divisor, divisor, D, uh, of, uh, divisor D containing singular points, and then if you look at singular, at connected component, connected component, Singular points. Of singular points. Of single points in D. Of single points in D. So generic point is certainly smooth. You have a divisor. Generic point is smooth. It has many components, maybe. Yes? And then there are single points, next codimension. Yes. So we have a sub-variety of codimension two, which is essentially maybe not quite smooth, but it's also what's called symplectic. So you, basically, you are getting some kind of, uh, how to say, induction. Yeah. So this is uh, verbitsky kamenova that, that Sorry? The results that you are... I don't know. Frankly, Turin told me in the 80s. So I don't... So I just remember he told me this construction, but who proved I don't know. Later, the story changed completely, so I don't know. There are plenty of people who made a lot of contributions, including Yao, for example, about rational curves uh, on 
Brandon Kolaft, and so on. So many people were contributing to the subject, so I can Fujiki, who will, so, go, yeah, it's, it's a huge, it became kind of huge area, not counting all physics and so on. Yeah. So I, I can't, you know, because I can't remember things that I can't illustrate. So, so if you take this uh, symbol, what I'm saying is that connected component of single local says simply like <coughs> So it means approximately the superiority of one step down. Approximately. Okay. And then, so there are some kind of, there is a single space analog for all of that, and then the people. So in fact, there is a quite restricted class of superiorities, but here the problem is that, so as now I assume, assuming Lagrangian filtration. Lagrangian vibration, you know, in this case, it's kind of perfect, it's projective space. So in this case, it is a smooth projective space. However, uh, that became a problem. So Matsushita and Wang, Matsushita, uh, Theorem, uh, I want so that if x, so suppose there is a Lagrangian vibration, but now it is not P2, it may be something else, P. Yeah. So it's a, what we know about this map, so suppose we have a Lagrangian map, that means fibers are Lagrangian. Lagrangian automatically means generic fiber is A. That's Lewis theorem. Essentially, if you have a map, so if you have local coordinates here, then dual coordinates, then you have dual coordinates on this space, and they kind of give you global fields. So then the tangent bundle of a generic smooth bundle, smooth fiber is so just generated by a local field, and therefore it's it's torus modular, maybe by torus such. So therefore Lagrangian map, map is with this Lagrangian property is generically, automatically toric vibration. <coughs> That's no question. And then it certainly tells you that if you move along coordinates here, before you reach singular divisor, you have a very nice structure because you have a kind of locally localified structure. You have fixed local coordinates from the from the fields on your abelian vibration. You are getting coordinates which grew by a fine translation. Transformation. So you kind of nice a fine structure on the base with uh, transformations by uh, integer matrices. So it's a lot of information about base. However, the problem is what can it be? What can be? be? Can be, be? And he puts a shit of proof that B, in any case, is two. Log canonical, log canonical, I think. Or pull log canonical, log canonical. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. I don't remember exactly. So, but it is um, the minus k of b, in any case, so is greater than zero. So it's essentially an MPR is equal to. So, in fact, many results, and so he proved that it is close to kind of PM. So it's eventually, it's final, so there are not that many anyway, but uh, but dealing with different varieties, different final varieties is difficult, and uh, still, so PN is still would be better. So, okay, so what I'm going to discuss now, first, our approach, you know, with uh, yeah, the Hoover results of this, uh, something that uh, a lot about this um, kind of higher cast resources. Yeah, Daniel Forbes actually made a big contribution. Derbitsky and so on. So many people, Kalenian, Derbitsky, many people actually recently were working on it. 
Okay, so what, um, so what I want to say is that we con consider the case, consider the first non-trivial case, non-trivial case, <coughs> Lagrangian vibration, <coughs> for x, you mention x equal to k. So in this case, we have x, b, this phi by a2, and generic phi b is abelian, by the way, this is known, that if x is, uh, so even if it is scalar, and if it is non-trivial, if vibration, if there is a variation, big variation, then generic phi b is abelian. So it's, it's a result. But it doesn't matter here. So we have a vibration, so this is generic phi b. B is a singular, Single surface, single surface in general. And what we are looking at, what can be B? What can be singular? So, and there was a, work, a lot of work was done before, before, and in particular, most of the singularities were excluded, apart from one. So, the only, so what can happen? Uh, so the important thing about this map is that B is normal, so only <coughs> single points. And all fibers, all components of the fibers have dimension, dimension two. Because whatever component is, the form is trivial on all the components all the components of a preimage of a point, for any point. It's just uh, the property because it's a limit of Lagrangians of spaces, so whatever the organizers will be Lagrangian. Lagrangian will be trivial. So therefore, this fact is coming just from, uh, so, so this follows from the fact that we have a, a form, a non-degenerate form, so Lagrangians of space cannot be of dimension greater than that half dimension. So therefore, all, but, and then the remark is that first, first that the symbol, so suppose we have a file, a component. I will describe kind of a bit away from it because I don't. So that if you take a transitive disk, so we have this non singular components, and this component is single. If you take transitive disk, that you intersect with some degree all the fibers in the name. Transverse, you mean? Transverse, transverse, transverse this. Then it will intersect, it's just usual homology here. But then it subjects onto the base, so onto local. So, so suppose if x, let's say, b0, b0 and b is a single point, a single point. Then it intersects uh, the then it projects on UV. So your singularity, right. the singularity is kind of, is there is a map of a small disk into on the singularity. So it immediately restricts to the possible singularities. So in particular, the fundamental group here is finite. And so all singularities are quotient singularities. So that's why, and then all quotient singularities were approached differently. And what we have shown is the following that, uh, so now the next actually hint is the following. Suppose you have a quotient singularity. And you can do it also something similar in higher dimensions. But suppose you have a quotient singularity. Then you know here, if you look at this fiber, the co-dimension co -dimension is greater or equal to two. It's actually two or in general, greater equal to n uh, is equal to n. And in general, co-dimension is equal to n. So therefore, by one of u of, so x b0, of u x, x b0 minus x b0, surjects onto pi one of, a certain, it certainly surjects uh, to, U of B0 minus B0. 
and this phi 1 is a finite group, and it is a, so this phi 1 is a finite subgroup, <coughs> finite subgroup of uh, JPC. And, uh, and in our case, so the case we were considering, it's subgroup. So this is, so the only singularity we are looking at, B0 is what is called the A singularity. And the subgroup in this case is just A5 extension, Z2 extension. So, but you know, the co-dimension is greater than 2, and so this is equal to pi 1 of U0. By one, if you remove anything of co-dimension greater than one, by one remains the same. So therefore, in fact, of the local covering, if it's so we have a local covering D two here. You obtain a kind of you obtain a covering which is so we obtain the action of this A five field on the fiber free action. Reaction on the pipe. So we then have abelian fibration. Abelian fibration over a two dimensional disk with maybe singular fibers, some singular fibers, in particular some singular fibers over a zero, but the action is free. Yeah? Okay, so now this cannot happen. There is no such action. There are no such fibers, essentially. So, you know, first thing, I must say the same argument was used in later Hobrechts and to put the paper also. Uh, it's slightly, it uh, follows this type, but they, at the end, they use kind of different argument uh, for, for actually to analyze the possible fibers. But I think um, the argument is okay, just uh, uh, more than, it doesn't use that kind of higher theory about Berkowitz uh, spaces and so on, which I, in my opinion, may be not necessary. I will explain why I think so. Okay. So, but that's the main thing now. So now what I want to say is that okay, I assume we have a fiber. And suddenly, some components may have big multiplicities. <coughs> but let's forget about them. Yeah. You know, the group acts suddenly uh, so that it just keeps components M i. So if multiplicity of components is M i, then I'm looking only at components of multiplicity 1. So first, certainly there are two cases. Either there are such components, or there are no. Yeah. However, there is a trick. Okay, maybe let me check this case because that's the main case uh, which I will be looking at. So suppose there are components of degree one. There may be many, but that means we have a. So what means components of degree one? That means over a smaller disk here. So infinitesimally small disk, we have a group of sections. So we have a group, gamma u uh, a. So we have a group of sections. So this is infinite dimensional space. However, we can take kind of, there is a finite, naturally defined finite dimensional function, finite dimensional function, finite dimensional function. Many function, which is abelian, abelian uh, algebraic. Uh, you know, the problem may be with the following. So, suppose you blow up a point. Suppose you have a component of degree one and you blow up a point. Uh, what may happen is that there is just one section. So, one section, there are many sections, but uh, uh, kind of uh, more jet, uh, how to say, they actually coming from high order jet scheme. So 
So what you want to say is that you take, uh, so we take, I know there exists, so maybe I just, so there exists R, R, R actually maximum R5, so that I want sections to cover everything modular Ri. So I take ideal of uh, point, mm -hmm, ideal of B0, yeah? And take power gamma. Then that will be a perfectly defined, that will be a finite dimensional abelian group. And, uh, but <coughs> on, in general, uh, so if you have, for example, just a bit of variety, it will be just CM, CM vibration over the vibration. So if you have a smooth abelian variety in the center, then you just have CM by T. That's all. So therefore, whether there is a, for example, uh, the main uh, remark is that if there is such a component, suppose that there is G, G on A5 tilde, which maps a component G of, yeah, okay, so maybe I'll say, yeah, okay. Consider different components of this portion of this of this of the portion. Let's say mm, I would say x <coughs> i zero. Every such component is a billion group. Everything is an abelian is a algebraic abelian group. And then uh, I would say that of of top dimension and then we can say okay g of x zero is equal to a is zero, then there is an invariant point. And hence contradiction. And this is contradiction. So in fact, what I want to prove at the action, that in this case, the action of your group on the set of components is free. You see, the reason is very simple. And the reason is exactly because of Lagrangian. We know that, we know what is the action A5 here. A5 still then acts on C2 without, uh, uh, without eigenvalue 1. Value one. So therefore, on the quotient, Lagrangian quotient, e of a and e of x by zero, uh, uh, there, there are no. There are no, So the action is essentially the action on the fields is the same, is dual. So the action, the action of a by tilde is the same. Tangent space B0 tilde. It's over B0. Dual. And so, therefore, if you look at invariant vector field blockery, yes, you have invariant <coughs> vector fields here, which are dual to coordinates vector fields on the back, on the left. Then the action is the same, no eigenvalues one, there are four invariant points. And the covering of the, so on the covering, for example, there is no invariant points. There, there has to be invariant points, sorry, for any element. Therefore, if any element, but not identity, x like this, finished. So now, we have to analyze the graph. So what is the graph of all, we have these components. So we have kind of complicated fiber. We took out this part of natural, natural group, group kind of part of it, and so it contains, it is a billion community group, and it has maybe CM by some, some, so in fact we are getting, 
a product by of some some connected group by a finite. So it's a product of connected. Is it okay for now? So first we are getting the action of pi one of the fiber, action of local pi one of the fiber, and assuming that there are components with multiplicity one, we have the action on a on kind of uh, on a billion group, a billion commutative group, finite dimension, a billion commutative group, with uh, without mm, uh, with uh, no invariant uh, co co connected subgroup. No, no invariant connectedness. So a billion commutative group is like a product. So a billion commutative group is like a product. So it's of CM or by NBA or CM by by finite group. So finite abelian. So we have, and this action is uh, so. We, so you see, the problem is that it is not canonically abelian. It is a fine group. So any section can be taken as a unit. Yeah, the unit is not fixed. So therefore, but the action is affined. That means g of x minus y is equal to g of x minus g of y. But we don't know that. So for zero cycles, we have this. It's a group for zero cycles, but not for itself. So it's a fine action here. And moreover, this group it has a rank, has a rank at least. Most two. And the reason for that is just by product form. If you look at uh, the, we have a very, so this group is what? This group is part of the torsion group of the whole, of the abelian, of generic abelian fiber. On generic abelian fiber, we have a torsion group which is uh, uh, of, uh, how to say, which is of rank four. However, this part which corresponds, and there is a very product. So if you take there is a very broad Zn, so A N cross A N maps to Z N. Yes, very, very product. And this very product, so if you degenerate, then very product on the group of components. So this torsion group of components is dual to the torsion subgroup of a component. Yeah, you see, for example. In the case of elliptic curves, when you generate a C star with the M, for example, so you generate a elliptic curve here, then this part is the part of components and it's dual to the N inside here. So the duality is like that, so there is the very the very duality is trivial on the subgroup of components. So therefore the run cannot be more than two. And then there is a lemma which says that, uh, and this is the most difficult part, uh, in some way, uh, that suppose we have, so in fact this lemma is for QA. So if QA acts uh, on B, which is B finite, uh, uh, with two generators, with at most two generators, basically, and X, X, action is defined, then there is an invariant, then there is a, an element with invariant. <coughs> No free action, no free affine action, and this is true for QA. And then we apply it. So in a way, many of subgroups. Uh, so it immediately implies that apart from separate groups, basically nothing else. So all singularities. Uh, so it's not only 
we're getting rid of eight singularity, but also of um, all other groups which contain to eight, and most of them do. Yeah, so apart from zero. So I think, yeah, so, uh, so if g, uh, b by g, if g acts freely, <coughs> c2 minus zero, yes, and that's how, yeah. then uh, that's how we get the quotient, yes, c2 minus zero divided by g. That's, what, that's how we get singularity. Here then, if k is contained in t, then it cannot act on b, and hence uh, on b, uh, that's bad rotation, yes. b was the base, f was the group, yes. So it's the same, that's f. I'm looking at the group, f of connected components, final group. Then, um, and then hence uh, this singularity in the camera. Okay, now there is a way how to get rid of multiple fibers. So what we want is to say that suppose we have a fiber, and this is already over curve. Suppose you have a abelian vibration. And uh, there is a fiber, um, let's say, where the multiplicity are co-prime. Then there is a section. There is a topological section, but we have a complex house. Since we are in a local situation, the same. The proof is very simple over a curve, and then you can imitate. So I want, OK, so this proves the theorem. Model the fact that we don't want, I'll say, this um, multi-fibers, yeah? So if, there is, if we want some. Some, so what I want for that is some components to have degree one. That's all. Okay. So now, what I want to say is the following. So suppose you have a, and this is general, kind of very general trick here, that if you have some, oh, yes. So, so we have this multi-section. So suppose it's M1, M2, Mk, yes, and this is one. So then suddenly we can drive one equal to some M R And now we can take a map. So now take this kind of multi sections. They intersect every single finite number of points. And then we have a map, so we can make a map. Yes, of our vibration, AT, at least locally, to, again, AT, where we can take X, maps into X, yes, X, uh, maps into, what to say, I want to say that X, yeah, actually, I want to map sort of x uh, to x minus, yeah, x minus the sum m i, uh, uh, m -I at minus intersection, in, uh, minus, so this is sigma i, sigma 1, sigma 2, intersection minus sigma 2 uh, with ax, sigma, sigma i, Intersection is yeah. ah, sorry. Okay. too many signals. So x maps to cycle of degree one of degree zero uh, minus uh, sigma uh, of sigma uh, i intersects with a. Okay, what is this map? This is a group. So what is what are these are zero cycles? Yeah, zero cycles is a group right. There is zero section. But now we have a map which is one to one. So therefore, it's birational occurrence. If you have a fiber-wise birational occurrence over a curve, that means there is a section. So unless there is a multiplicative fiber, we are getting a section. But now we can see that, in fact, 
you can't get a multiplicator. There is no multiplicative fibers, uh, multiple fibers in uh, Lagrangian refibration over anything which has trivial canonical class or even better. Because if you have, so suppose you have a variety like this, this is B, and you take a curve. So first, multiple fiber, fiber occurs along the device, along the device. So any fiber of any multiplicity spreads because it's the terminal condition. The terminal condition, so you have a component of degree mi in some fiber, then it will continue to be so in, uh, in a, on a divisor. Yeah, so anyway, on a divisor. But then multi-fibers should be occur on a divisor, but if you take a generic curve here, generic smooth curve, which means B0, then there should be a multi-fiber here, all over the curve. But if you have a multiplicity m, the canonical class of that cannot be induced from, that is a fraction. The fraction of the fiber appears in the canonical class of the family of a curve. It's a general fact about the billion factors. So, so if you have an elliptic K3... Yeah, elliptic K3, the fraction will occur. Yeah. No, no, elliptic K3 usually have no multiple. Non so if you have a non-constant family, let's say, non-constant family, the fraction of this. So therefore, it cannot be, uh, so therefore, because the normal bundle here is coming from the base, so the total, mm, there are no multi-fibers along the rest. I think this is correct, maybe, yeah. at least, uh, yeah. That's what I got from some cool questions. There are references for that. So that multi-fibers usually create multiple fibers. This non-trivial monotron usually give. Even some even smooth curve is multi multi smooth curve give you one by it's local factor. It's about form, you know, you restrict form and there is uh, something. So multiple means all fibers are multiple. Okay, so the existence of a common multiple means you have this property. That's what I mean. Okay, so therefore we have no multiple fibers and this scheme works. Hopefully it's correct. Let's see what the referees will tell. In fact, I must say, I am convinced that this should, first, I am convinced that you don't have to go beyond the four dimension to single. Because if uh, you have some, so, because you know how to say, I think you can't, if you can't control it, uh, for example, over neighborhood of a surface, that would be fine. There are plenty of rational curves, and if you have a reasonably rational surface, then we can, uh, suppose there is a pitua inside, which doesn't intersect, so then I think we can get everything. But it's just a thought. And the second is that if you have co-dimension two, uh, then, so, then, if you take a section, then you again have, by the same reason, you have this one of these quotient singularities on the fiber. The only problem here, uh, which I think, I also, as usual, I'm very optimistic about plants, but as usual, mm, you know, we can't kind of get the same statement, though the rank of the F, rank of F can be bigger. That's a question. That's a problem. However, there is a small remedy. The remedy is that, in fact, you know, if you have a, so suppose you take mm, a surface. So suppose we have, uh, uh, suppose we have, um, so these are singularities, singularity of co-dimension, of dimension, of dimension. Yes, then there is this, we take tangent space to this singularity. And then to, ta to the tangent space in the singularity, there will be corresponding some vector fields on the on the fiber, not on the trivial vector band where the action of your group G is trivial. Yeah. So therefore, I suspect that um, it integrates. So therefore, your variety, in fact, is isogenous. 
So this fiber, generic fiber, is isogenous to, um, um, let's say, degeneration. That's in that sense of a two cross something like that. So therefore, it will reduce again to the rank. But that's just a guess. You know, I, I, we didn't complete it yet. And also, I think in higher dimensional singularities, you also have uh, the, you will also have something like ocean singularity, though it's not settled yet. I hope. So I think in general, mm, yeah, for top dimensional, top dimensional singularity, we also have this is ocean singularity, C n by g, C let's say n minus k by g. Yes. So, Dimension of the transversal space, C n minus k. So I, I, I think it is also, it is certainly uh, the quotient and the sand and the local um, disk, transversal disk subjects. But I think it's more than that. It is g, g, such that g in g, not identity in g, has no eigenvalue 1. which means acts freely. And the list of such groups, so there are not that many groups. And in fact, these groups are essentially some small, some relatively simply constructed P groups and the group and the dimension group. So in fact, I suspect that the whole theory can be reduced to uh, very relatively few F in the single points. So maybe even though they may be uh, non kind of, so it may be not PN, but well, <coughs> something very close. Okay, that's all what I want to say. I wanted to add something about Hodge, but that may, be, may take too long. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, I, I, I didn't tell you, but I told everybody that I'm deaf now. So, for a few days. <laughs> so if you, if someone wants to ask any question, communicate. So I would repeat your yeah. questions if you have any. I can talk, but <laughs> any <laughs> questions? Yeah. No, actually, I heard you. Yeah, you were here. It depends. Me. I mean, yeah, yeah, but some people are here, some people not. <laughs> some voices, some, some what, what some penetrates. Yeah. The hook could cast by four diamonds and no. Certainly. Can one try to cast by hypercalia four diamonds or more? Well, I think uh, Lagrangian, this Lagrangian configuration. This Lagrangian configuration, I think we can, yeah. yeah. What's the answer? Symmetric or okay. hmm? What would be the answer be besides, oh, know. besides? No, no, I don't know. You know, uh, my problem is that actually um, this question occurred in a conversation and then I answered it and then uh, we started to write this so you can cross. I didn't work in the field for some time, so I'm not kind of, I have to look through many articles. <coughs> And I actually plan to do it after semester ends, and then I... How about existence of Lagrangian? Hmm? Sorry? Existence of Lagrangian in general. Is there any hope to prove existence of Lagrangian? Well, I'd say at the moment, the best results I know, I heard at least, you know, it's not that I looked through the literature. I remember that Berbitsky proved something about, so if you deform, uh, some so if you have a class which is kind of yeah, d to the n is trivial, yeah, in the device, and then uh, there is a torus. There is a, there is a kind of uh, torus where it vanishes completely. The form which vanishes. So, but torus is not the top dimension. If it would be top dimensional, that would be. So in principle, then there are something about uh, currents and so some many results. There are many results, but I, it's very difficult to give an affirmative answer. I can't even. So, but th there is some about uniqueness of some kind of limit, positive current, and so this is this is this kind of results. Also, non-compact version of it. Hmm? Non-compact version. Non-compact hypercalia. Non-compact. I don't know. It's much more difficult. Yeah, no. Sure. It's much more difficult. I, I don't think there is any. Yeah, no, I don't know any. There are many constructions, but yeah, there are many, constructions. many constructions, but open is open. That's another kind of, this is the, the area of a complex curve is kind of close to maybe accomplished. Because two things need to do is just to deform to a Lagrangian and then uh, 
look at my grandchildren. Which essentially, you look at something, uh, if you look at PN, you look at devices which are bound to degree. The generation devices are bound to degree. So it all looks kind of doable. So maybe my first guess was not that far. So they, they exist, but really like a tiny. Any other questions? If not, let's thank Professor Kobolov again. Okay. Thank you. By the way, there is a dinner tonight at 7 p.m. in Royal East. Thanks for the invitation. No, I have to leave tomorrow. There's also a talk. There's a break. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Good.